segment is sponsored by Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. Hey guys, we're here today with Musio Davila, who's a senior at Putnam City West. And we're going to talk a little bit about his history in 4-H because you've been in 4-H almost your entire life, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, when did you start? Started when I was six. Six years old and now you are? 17. So you've been doing it for, I mean, from six to 17, you're a senior now. I mean, that's a long time to be doing 4-H. What, what do you like most about 4-H? What has got, you've gotten out of that's kept you in it all those years? Well, I think the biggest thing I've kept so far and it's going to be keeping with me when I'm going into my adulthood is my leadership and all that I've learned in 4-H. Okay, and I, I can imagine that over 11 years in 4-H, you've had some incredible memories that you're going to hold on to. What, if you talk to somebody and said, listen, here's why I love 4-H, here's the memories I have, what are some of your top memories of your time in 4-H? I think those top memories are going to be those friendships I've built with seeing who are my true friends right there overall. Okay. Now, you were, we were talking earlier that you actually plan, once you graduate, you're going to Oklahoma State, which is where 4-H always has their annual meetings. So what are you going to do when you go up there to Stillwater? Well, I want to go study for hospitality in 4-H. One of my biggest projects has always been food science and doing stuff with food, and I want to go open up my own food restaurant in homage to my grandpa. So. Oh, that would be great. Well, okay, so today we're here for your Oklahoma County 4-H project. Tell me about the HUGS project. Well, the HUGS project, it stands for uh, hats, underwears, gloves, and socks. And what we do is we put boxes all over Oklahoma, and people fill it up with hats, underwears, gloves, and socks. And around, mm, let me think, December, we'll go pick them up and then go drop them off at a homeless shelter so kids aren't cold during this bad times during Oklahoma. Okay, so here's one though. When you pick them up, you have told me earlier that you actually have gone and dropped them off to the people that are going to receive them. A lot of times I have some 4-H winners in here that have these projects and they don't actually see the faces of the people that are benefiting from their project, but you have. When you drop those items off, what are some of the reactions that you get from the people? Oh, you see, you see, those are the moments you want to see in life. You see people get happy. You see parents start to tear up seeing their kids aren't going to be freezing this year. Okay. Is it difficult right now during COVID and all that we've had going on in the economy to get donations or is it still pretty easy? It's, it's been, it's kind of, it's like a balance right there. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's kind of difficult right there overall. Tell me again where you typically drop these things off. If somebody's out there watching and they want to go drop off, right now the donation boxes are in place, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, where, where are they right now? If they wanted to go make a donation and drop off themselves, where are some places they could do that? Well, they can go to the county clerk uh, office downtown and they can go drop off over there, but they could also head down to the Oklahoma County Extension Center and they're also able to drop it off right there to our educators. Okay, that's great. Well, let me tell you, I'm Noble McIntyre. I have, an attorney, I have a law firm here in Oklahoma City, and what I like to do is recognize young adults in our society and our community that are doing a little more than the rest. I mean, for you to be in 4-H since you were 6 and now 17, some of the projects you're doing, uh, we talk all the time about how you 4-H kids are just astounding young individuals. So I like to recognize that. So just on behalf of myself and my firm, I want to tell you thank you for what you're doing. Keep it up. Just think all those faces of people that you were talking about earlier that you've seen. If you weren't out doing that, they might not receive anything from anybody. So you're doing a great job, a great service, and I appreciate you. What we have for you today is the plaque for the Noble Cause winner. I think that even though this is November, this is actually the Noble Cause October because we had to push it back a little bit. And I also have a check from my firm to Oklahoma County 4-H for $150. And it's just my way of saying thank you for what you're doing. Keep it up. Uh, I want to see what you do. I want you to do great things. So stay in touch when you go up to Stillwater, all right? Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, guys. Oklahoma County 4-H, Musio doing great work. Back to you. Thanks, Noble, and congratulations. Now, more about our sponsor, Attorney Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. They are dedicated and effective personal injury lawyers. McIntyre Law is located at 8601 Southwestern Avenue in OKC. You can check them out online at McIntyreLaw.com and download their new app. You can call them at 405-917-5200. They do offer virtual meetings.